Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. I'm on a bit of a kick of recreating CG moments from films, but in real life like. Very satisfying. Suicide Squad, um, the good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> has an amazing slow mo moment where one character shoots another character through his own bullet. That's right. Um, shoots. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to avoid the spoiler, but yeah, Sorry. Go for it. Okay, fine. <laughs> no, no, fine, fine. I see what you're doing, yeah. That bit where character X shoots character Y through his own bullet. Character Y yeah. had something similar to this. It's a shonk. So it's a thick boy. It's a 50 cal, goes in a desert eagle. It's a hollow point, so that's what he was using. Yeah. And it's designed to sort of expend all its energy straight away into the target. And character X was using something similar to this. That's just a 2-2. Two, two. This is just a, a 22, 20, 22 if you're in the US. ball round. Yeah. And we're going to try and... Oh, yeah, it fits perfectly. I'm amazed that it actually does fit perfectly within the little hollow point zone. Yeah, even if it's not the exact ammunition he was using in it, the film, it fits pretty much like the size is about right. I think he was using a much pointier round. We can't really fire both bullets at each other. We can only have one stationary and the other one going at it. Yeah, so this one will be sat there and this one will be fired. Correct. If you do want to see an amazing video of two bullets actually hitting each other, both fired from guns, check out Destin's video. An amazing masterpiece. Yeah, masterpiece. All right, let's get on it. So I'm just going to put a 50 cal bullet here on this nail. Aim the 2-2 by looking down the barrel before I place the round in, and hopefully we can get it nice and snug. I'm going to start at about 82,000 frames a second with the TMX behind a nice bulletproof shield because this will be, I assume, shrapnel city. If the movie's anything to go by, yes. Yeah. But well. we are just using the force of the the 2-2 rather than both of them going That's through true. each other. So. It remains to be seen. We might just shoot this and then it just goes Pleh. I think it goes without saying. Uh, I just don't try any of this at home. There we go. That is a fat little round, isn't it? Look how much propellant is in here. Jeez. I'm going to pop a 2-2 a for a reference. Yeah, pull a 2-2. Okay. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> it's a really eye-opening sort of comparison there, isn't it? Different applications. Yeah. The blue tack there. That'll do, won't it? The nail's like a T, it's like mental golf. <laughs> this will be remotely triggered and remotely fired, so we won't be anywhere near this. This bad boy will, so I'm just going to once again get the monitor out of the shrapnel zone. Imagine if you get this first try. I think I will. Do you really think so? I think I will. All right. I'll move my sunglasses out of the way, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we loaded. Loaded. Here we go. <laughs> well, it's gone. Safe. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, did I know <laughs> it? I think that's in there. That's in there, Hold isn't on, it? Hold on, let's look under here. That's in there. <laughs> that's in there. Like, okay. Rewind it for like a few frames, like four frames. Oh, that's in there. It looks like the, the bullet came out like wonky. That shouldn't be happening. That's unusual. Oh, and then it just stops dead on that bullet. I, I thought that it wasn't going to have that much of an effect, but it really did. I mean, the bullet did not go through. It was just absorbed into the front, but I mean, it knocked it. But that is cool though, because that kind of shows the principle of what's happening. Faster, closer. Faster, closer. Good shot. Me? Okay, I'm much closer with the camera now and I've squashed the frame down to a thin slit. Top and the bottom aren't giving us any information, so we're now at 200,000 frames a second, looking more into the front. Loaded! Safety off! Firing in three, two, one! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a little mini golf swing, honestly. <laughs> like that is a, look at this little blue tack left. It's slightly bending the nail each time. You don't think that's DBW? DBW? Dan-based wonkage. No, maybe. Oh. <coughs> oh, Look at that. Lovely. <laughs> that is middle. That is a premium shot. Much better frame rate. Yeah. I like the flash. Hang on, is that? Oh, look at that. That is a, that is a baby made. 
That is straight in there. Bosh. Yeah, and then you have the uh, the air getting squished and firing through the little gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you get when you fire the actual hollow points at stuff. That's what happens. Yeah, like if you hit steel or something. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised it has that much of an effect, considering that all it's holding on there is a bit of blue tap. I thought we might have to like back it with something strong to stop it from going anywhere. I don't think it makes a lick of difference. It's coming in so fast. That's awesome. You can see the the, the copper jacket gets peeled away from the. Yeah. Uh, the lead as well. See how soft it is. Yeah. Look at this as well. Look at the blue tank. <laughs> <laughs> but that's happening so quick. In reality, yeah. it's going like. <gasps> yeah. In reality, it's like. Ding! Yeah. <laughs> You know, I think slowly it's hammering the nail down. I think it is too, because I keep having to move the gun down. That, I think you're right. I've been like, huh. <laughs> I keep having to like, adjust it down. Okay, I've shrunk the resolution down even more. Very tiny slit. This is probably as thin as I'm going to go in color. And we're now at double the frame rate, 400,000 frames a second. That will slow one second to about four and a half hours. Whoa. So not messing around. Firing in three, two, one. I saw it seemed to like splay out into like a sunflower shape and was going and spinning like a flat disc it kind of went over like that over in that direction it kind of goes we're now in black and white at 875,000 frames a second three two one fire did you see it yeah that's so satisfying the, the entire lead is gone. Oh. Yeah. It's more or less perfectly peeled along the lines of the sort of hollow point weaknesses you can see. Okay, camera's now right behind the gun. And we're back at 200K on the frame rate, looking right down the old bullet hole. This is gonna be quite a satisfying shot. Do you think so? I think so, because you're going to see everything as it happens. Yeah, hopefully there's not too much muzzle gump. Firing in three, two, one. You found it? Yeah. Whew. Perfect flower again. Uh, they're pretty much identical. Like, yeah, they're never making it through the back. Bloody close to the camera. Counting a lot on this bulletproof shield. Firing in three, two, one. That's the chip. Yeah. Right in front of where the lens is. Good job, shield. Bloody, what is this bullet doing? What's going on? It's coming in like a flared plane. I can't tell apart which one's which, but it never seems to get through the whole of the bullet. It's pretty much like halfway to what happened in the film, but yeah. we just don't have the power to get through it. What if it was a full cartridge? Just for no reason. Yeah, the full round, case and all. <laughs> I want to see it too, all right, but I just don't know what's going to happen. Something I like about Suicide Squad is they got a lot right. They got the spin of the bullets, they got what would happen to the bullet kind of right. Some movies, like was it Naked Gun 32 or whatever? 33 and a third, like I, the, oh, the record it. speed. <laughs> had on the front cover this full cartridges and bullets flying around like making holes in things. I get it that that's, you know, it's a bit of a tongue in cheek movie, but yeah. the, the amount of times that in media, they think that bullets come and come through the air like this. Yeah, we got a lot of grief on our thumbnail for um, the pinfire video. Before they even watch the video, then afterwards they're like, oh. Well, <laughs> I think... <laughs> 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 I like you pushed on just the front of your nose at first, even though you're wearing goggles. <laughs> I went like this, I went, I'm going to have to sort of push on my nose. And then I realised, I think the bullet will come out of the case and the case will be split and there'll be no propellant in it. I think, I think the primer will be intact, but we'll find like a split brass case somewhere. Firing in three, two, one. Well, it didn't initiate the cartridge. Otherwise, there would have been a loud bang. Look at that. It's perfectly made it like trumpeted. Is there an intact primer? Yes. The primer That's is definitely intact. it. That's the one. So it's been shot, burst open and just left. 
<laughs> and all the powder's gone and the bullets has gone. That's wild. Should we just, you know, for absolutely no reason, has no relevance whatsoever to Suicide Squad or anything we're doing today, let's just turn it around and fire it with a gun. That should do it. Right into the primer. Uh, I think so. <laughs> all right. Judging by my accuracy so far, I think we'll, we'll get it. This should be a much bigger bang. I'm expecting it to be. Firing in three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> Might have just wrecked it. Oh. Did it huh? go? I think it went, yeah. It's a direct hit. Oh, oh, shock oh my wave. goodness! The, uh, the cartridge case just sort of stayed in the middle there. That, that was clean into the primer. And now the bullet is just in the in the other case. That's awesome. Look at the shock wave. It, did, did it even <laughs> initiate most of the propellant? I don't think so. It just knocked the primer. It might have just been the primer got smashed into the back of the bullet. Yeah, it's just dented the back of the bullet. Knocking the bullet out. And I think most of the powder I mean, there was a shockwave, but I think most of the powder went untouched. That shows how insensitive the, the powder is. And then there's just like a, a messed up ballooned case That's with no primer. crazy. Oh, cream in the middle there. Gosh. I love the little shockwave at the back. That's so cool, isn't it? You can see it travel all along the way of the, the brass there. Mm. Just knocks the bullet out. Yeah, a little bit of brass went back. Yeah, it wasn't most of it. It was just, just a like tiny... a little wing. Yeah, a tiny little spinning fragment. That You can see that piece spinning really quickly going off. Oh, you can see before the bullet gets shot out that the case actually gets like smushed further up. Like the bullet goes further in and then out. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of like what gives a bullet its oomph is the barrel. And yeah. I think to an extent, the case, just to get it out. Oh, yeah. So when the case is immediately like popped open before all the powder's gone, it's like there's, n there's nothing that can happen because all the powder's in the air. It's true. You know, the, the a bit of information for you here. Um, the brass cartridge cases are also a heat sink when you're firing weapons. They developed caseless ammunition, but the guns were more likely to overheat. Uh -huh. But because you're expending a lot of heat energy into each case, it's then being released. So they serve several purposes. They are hot when they come out. Mm -hmm. Look how cleanly I shot through the primer. <laughs> that's an amazing shot, especially considering a lot of these bullets were coming out a little bit janked. Well, that's probably why it's done that, you see. Yeah. Because it, it probably hit it directly, but then the jank made it go through. Do you fancy a subtle escalation? Yeah, I mean, we're not quite getting the same results as is on the film with the 2-2. So, let's escalate it with this bad boy. <laughs> Does that even fit in the hole? I guess the tip will. The tip will, and that's all you really need to get in <laughs> is the tip. So not uh, movie accurate, because I think the entire bullet in the film goes through. Yeah. This is just, <laughs> it will go through. It will go through it. But <laughs> it's not... It, it, we haven't been <laughs> film accurate at any point. We'd have to get sort of like an armor piercing, hard tipped round if we actually want, but you know, they're pretty difficult to get. Yeah, they're, they're, you can't just pop down to your local Walmart and get them. These though, perfectly fine. Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at this. Bloody hell. Ready? Oh, it's so much bigger. Ooh, oh, oh my oh, word. Like it's a bunch of that, liquid. That was, almost identical to the to the movie except it was almost more liquid it yeah. made a splash on the because it didn't go in the hole it went just it just hit the the size of the spark that's a crit like look ridiculous. at that oh that's more like the effect from the movie or like a combination between the smaller bullet and that bullet yeah it was like kind of like the movie i think if we can get that hit dead on yeah that'd be premium it's not easy but uh it is fun so yeah. i'll do it again i mean Nothing about this is easy. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a nice frame, right? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Wish I had a bit more depth. Because it's a much bigger barrel than the, the 2 2. Yeah. There's a lot more sort of space where the bullet can be when I look down the barrel. With uh, the 2 2, it's like. Space. Yeah. You might have to get further back from the, the hole. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ooh. Bloody Whoa. hell. It just turns it to liquid. It's like a splash. See, that's the way I can describe it, is a splash. Even though we've used a bigger bullet than the movie, they got it pretty much exactly accurate. That's pretty much exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. I wonder happens. if they did a bunch of testing or whether they just simulated it and that's, you know, you can enter in different material values. I can only assume, I think they'd have tested it. Because that's so that's accurate. Cool. 
I wonder if anyone from that film knows. <laughs> if you send in an email, put a comment. <laughs> yeah. All I've said is props to the visual effects department. Yeah. That is bang on. That's really cool. I'm only disappointed that they didn't do it for real at this point. Yeah, you just need like a 7,000 mile an hour camera <laughs> move. <laughs> you know, I don't think that would be that different a result if the other bullet was rifling and moving towards us at speed. Oh, so if we had fired both? Yeah. Maybe it'd be slightly more of a splash. Yeah, I want to see detail in all this stuff behind. Like, I want that sharp, so... So you're going to focus slightly behind with a bit more depth? I'm probably just going to move the camera perpendicular uh, again and put this in the danger zone. I mean, when you say danger zone, come and have a look at this. Look at all this shrapnel. I've had second thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think because you fire the, the 30 or 6 here and it hits the 50 cal bullet, but the splash kind of fans out. Yeah. So because it goes like this, you could be at this angle slightly behind it and still get a lot of the the action happening behind because it goes out like that. Just behind the cone of hate. Just, be just behind the cone of doom, yeah. Yeah, because even a bulletproof shield has value to it. Like, even that isn't cheap. I am attached to it. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's just giant. It's nice and thin still. It's just the amount of extra velocity it has. It's, it's weight and velocity. Boom. Oh. <gasps> what an absolute God. peelage. So I think what the film didn't have they didn't have the, the air igniting from inside the hole. But even this bullet, I mean, it's not a very hard tipped bullet, but it doesn't come out the other side. It just sort of merges. Oh, it, it ends up just like squished into everything else. I kind of expected it to still be in one piece. Yeah, I think it's absolutely mangled. What we found out from this is basically, if they were both fired at each other, yeah, instead of one being stationary, potentially they would just go, if they're both fired at the same speed, because the, 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 they kind of mush into each other. Yeah, well, I down. think it'd be more of like a... Okay. So instead of everything going one way because it's stationary, they would go like, it'd be just a, a big sphere of pieces. So, so they'd both be fine. So in actual, <laughs> fact, in actual fact, what character X should have said was not smaller bullets. <laughs> he, should, he should have said this. No, 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 no. He's holding his neck and like... Oh, sorry. And he goes... How? Okay. How? It's actually the composition of the bullets is harder. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I couldn't see you there for a second. Perfect. Yeah. I, just, I was just gone. Wicked. I mean, it looks great. I think that's the mission accomplished. <laughs> well, A, incredibly satisfying footage, yeah. and B, we will be needing a new table. <laughs> <laughs> it's been annihilated. I thought we'd got away with it. But I'm also pleased because the footage was so good. Yeah. I'm also really pleased that the table's ruined because we stepped up to that bigger round. Made all the difference, didn't it? Totally. Made all the difference, made a massively different effect. And I'm quite impressed with how well they managed to replicate it. Yeah, the, the CG was, I would say, insanely accurate. I mean, barring that we didn't get a bullet to come out the other side and there wasn't a flash in the CG, but... That's true. <laughs> Amazing attention to detail. Yeah, it's really cool. And wildly consistent on that 22. It was, wasn't it? Every time. We managed to find quite a few. This yeah. is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> nice and splayed. Yeah. Well, feel free to leave a comment if you can think of other cool CG moments from films, because we potentially have the technology to be able to recreate them in real life, which is damn good fun in my opinion. Yeah, I'd say there was a period about 10 years ago where slow-mo cameras weren't really there, but the computers that made CGI were. Yeah. So there's a lot of practical effects that can be done now and actually filmed at the frame rate for real. I agree, and I want to try it. Well, there we go. Make sure you subscribe if you like Slimo, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.